Man. Screw this. <laughs> Just joking. Screws! Screws, 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 screws. You will run up on every single freaking possible need for every freaking possible shape of head of screw throughout your locksmithing life. And uh, most of it here in the U.S. Is, is the standard imperial sizes, like 632, 832, blah, blah, blah. So, um, I have a variety of screws. I've done a video on my um, uh, H2O Express container that has these full of screws. Uh, and I'll, I'll link in the description of that video if you haven't seen it. And I may have even actually talked about these particular ones. But, uh, I went to Harbor Freight the other day. Ooh, Harbor Freight. Cheap place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... There's many, many, many things that you do not buy from Harbor Freight. Many things. But there are a few things that come in handy. Um, so what I found the other day was another needle file set, which are perfectly fine for, uh, you know, just shaping up keys and anything you need needle files for. Uh, I'd been missing a couple, so I uh, just went ahead and bought another pack. Um, as I was walking by, I've been meaning to pick one of these up, and this is a feeler gauge that's typically used by mechanics. And it has, where's the markings? It has everything from super thin all the way up to thick. And it's screwed held on like that. So I am not going to use this as a feeler gauge because there is absolutely no reason in the world for a locksmith to need a feeler gauge. Um, unless you do automotive work too. Um, what I'm going to use this for is stainless steel spring material. It is flexible. It is stainless steel. It costs $5 and there's a bunch of different sizes there. So if I run up on the need for a spring, um, I can unscrew it, take the piece I want out, grind it down to fit, and hopefully it will make a serviceable spring material. That's why I bought that. And the other, other two things that I grabbed on my way out was the stainless steel screw assortment with uh, wood thread or metal thread screws. And uh and a little small kit with some assorted sizing now i already have done kits where i bought some of these small containers and i took some glue and i glued it down because on the smaller screws if you don't glue these down uh, especially on washers they will slip underneath to the next chamber um, and you can see i even went to the trouble to put all the sizes there this particular one um, first off, this is all my stainless steel screws. I've got the other screws that I've got are not stainless steel. So I have been building up my stainless steel selection. You can see I do need a couple of the tiny 632nd. Uh, one of the common that you're going to use is the 832 by 3 8 of an inch set screws for Adam's right doors, Adam's right locks when they're missing or when they break. Um, and uh, you'll see that I've got both. Uh, Allen screws are grub screws, which is what they call them overseas. Uh, flathead, countersunk flathead, and the uh, knurled head, I guess I can't remember offhand the name of that, and I'm ashamed for not being able to remember, but uh, knurled head, Allen head. Um, and that those actually do come in handy every so often because you can... Uh, there's a lot of mechanical things in the lock world that have, that needs this to make it properly function. So what I do is I just put the same, since there's three different head shapes, I try to just keep, to, to narrow down how many of these I have to carry, because I don't really carry a lot of them, you know, four to six, uh, just in case you're in a bind. And uh, you can see I've even got some oddballs thrown down here in the bottom. Um, so that is that. I also have regular flathead screws that use a Phillips type driver and round head. So again, I've mixed in round and flat countersunk head style and labeled each one of them so I can just go straight to what I need. Stainless steel screws are a little bit harder to cut 
uh, in the field. Um, but they will, I've shown you my Klein electrical pliers that has the threaded holes all the way around it. That is designed to run a screw in and snip it. But having a broad selection like this makes it a lot easier just to grab what you need and go. So aside from continually, like I'm out of the 1024 by half inch fine thread, 1024 fine, oh, flathead, 1024 flathead. Uh, actually, I got round head and flathead, so I don't combine these. So I got 632 round, 632 about a little bit longer round, and then flat, flat, round, round. There was a method to my madness here. Um, and a few washers. Um, washers are pretty dang important, regardless of the screw, because um, they are used for any number of things. And I pulled these out for right now. This one I haven't labeled and I, and I haven't glued down. And that's why I've left these real small washers in their packs so that I can just like stick it down in here so that they don't all mix together until I get a chance to glue it down. And you can also see I've got the, if I can get it back in camera, I've got the finishing washers um, as well for typically used on uh, pull plates and kick plates and uh, anything else where you need to use a flathead screw but it lay flush with, flush with the surface but again typically they're used on uh, the inside portion when you're installing a guard shield to keep somebody from you know credit card in the door typically this is what you're going to find on the inside is the finishing washer with maybe not that screw but uh, you know you get the idea that way it uh you don't have to worry about that um anyway uh so that is that uh and again i picked up now and i will mention something all these i bought in like the little packs at, at uh, one of the big box stores the orange one and the blue and there's two big box stores locally i picked most of these up at the blue or no i'm sorry the orange one and you can see it's all made in Taiwan. Um, so I always feel bad. And one of those things I'm very frightened of at Harbor Freight is screws breaking because they're made cheaply. So, you know, these are made in, let me guess, China, distributed in California, but made in China. So Taiwan or China, who wins in the screw strength category? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and keep these. Um, I don't like buying offshore screws, but I mean, pretty much that's all you get, that's all you can get nowadays, unless you special order through a screw company. And you know, maybe I should do that, but I don't. I didn't, and I'm kind of building my kit here. Maybe one day, if I see a good deal on a kit out of them, I will. But in the meantime, I'm going to use these. If I feel uncomfortable using them in any way, if I have to, you know, use them, I'm going to not and try to use those. But again, they're both offshore. I just bought these, um, especially these type. I'm afraid of them snapping off after you drill your pilot hole if I'm putting these in metal doors. I'm particularly worried about those breaking if, you know, the pilot hole is not big enough or off size just a little bit so anyway that is the talk about screws obviously all my screws are not out here i'll bring this over into view this is what has been holding my sheet metal screws um, and this is a two-tier plano case that you get in the fishing section two-tier i got anchors and stuff let's see if we can anchors hollow wall concrete and in the top, I've got pretty much sheet metal screws. And most of these sheet metal screws are not stainless steel. There are a handful like these right here. So when I get my kit ready to go for the metal sheet metal screws, I'm going to probably do another kit like one of these small ones. These, I know for a fact, are better quality. I'm not sure if they're US made, but these are definitely sheet metal. Now, when you buy stainless screws or when you buy screws, period, there's gonna be st 
stainless steel sheet metal screws, and then there might be stain there might be non-stainless steel sheet metal screws, and then there might be non-stainless steel wood screws. Wood screws are softer than ones made for metal. So uh, if you try to drill your pilot hole in something metal and drive a wood screw in that is not, uh, you know, again, if the, if the pilot's off just a little bit and you go and you try to use a wood screw in a metal door and it snaps off immediately and you have an issue because that's always not good. So um again i'm gonna separate the metal screws out of here and you can't really tell them apart you know i don't know if that's a wood or a metal screw i know a couple of these are metal i know these are obviously with the drill tip uh should i bring that up should i okay the drill tip self tip self drilling screws okay so they work in some cases uh where are we where are we there's a little one Okay, do not, do not, if you're installing hardware, please, for the love of God, if you're putting in a $1,200 panic bar, that panic bar comes with screws that is made to fasten said panic bar or said lock to the door. Do not go grab your box of tech screws just because they have a self drilling point and use it to throw it in throw the strike plate into the door so you don't have to pre-drill so you don't have to tap so that you can cut corners and not do it correctly because sorry about this siren going by we're near a hospital so we always have sirens going by but you, you install for the most part now not it's not every case because there are exceptions but if you get say going back to the panic bar if you have a panic device and it has the strike plate that goes around panic device and it has the strike plate that goes on the door and it comes with screws and this is mainly where i see it and you go and you grab these little bitty ass weak tech screws or whatever just so you don't have to drill and tap it that strike plate is going to be loose in a month maybe two maybe three but it's going to get loose because you did not use the right screws for the job so um in kind of starting to wrap this up uh, number one use the screws that come with the hardware to mount it to the door unless there's extenuating circumstances unless you have hardware that you know will do a better job than the included hardware i will admit some cheapy hardware does come with horrible screws because they break and all that so if you are going to not use the screws that come with that included hardware make sure that they are better than what is there not equal not easier to use not cheaper etc you're going to want to use better hardware if you feel like the included hardware is not up to par so again uh that is my screw you presentation on <laughs> stainless steel screws and um it takes up that's just one of the one of those other things that you have to have in your vehicle because if you're on a job and you're trying to get something done and you don't have the right fastener to get that sucker on the door um, you're not going to be happy because you can't collect your payment to get done or you're going to try to do it another way and it may not be the best way you know some uh some people laugh about oh it's, it's the warranties till i get out or get, get around the corner well i as a locksmith having done this any number of years i want to keep my customers happy i provide a warranty on my installation and if something goes wrong i always gladly go back as soon as i'm able to to correct the problem and and almost instantly if it's a situation where they cannot fasten their door shut um, and that's the responsibility that you um, or that your customer expects from a locksmith company and again all i can say is you know it, it, it just start adding to it when you go to the hardware store when you go to to the big box store or whatever go by the screw section and start adding to it i bought this little by little they're expensive stainless steel screws are expensive to add up you know getting all these in there so but if you do it little by little spend ten dollars here ten dollars there start off with the most common sizes add to it get your organizers up have it in the truck ready to go 
know where to find it in your truck that can be a problem because uh, there's just so much stuff that you invariably might need um, but one of the more important things is a decent screw selection to save you time from having to stop the job go get something leave the door unsecured come back finish it um, one little screw that cost me 20 cents at the hardware store could mean the difference between a 10 mile or 20 mile round trip drive just because I needed this thing. So do your best to save up little by little if you're a field locksmith and make sure you have a good selection of screws, mounts, um, and uh, anything you think that you're gonna need to have when you're on a job. So thanks for watching again. If you have any questions, screw you! No, I'm just joking. <laughs> That's enough screw you uh, jokes. So, anyway, screw this. I'm out of here.